Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm an event planner at the Orange County Library System. I plan author events and writing workshops, and since we're not able to have those at the library right now, I invited some of my publishing friends to provide writing tips for you. This next one is from editor Ashley Hearn. Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Hearn and I'm a YA editor at Page Street Publishing. I'm going to talk a little bit about what happens behind the scenes between when a book is acquired or bought by a publishing house and when it actually hits the shelves. This is usually a 16 to 18 month process. So it's a long time between when the book is bought and the actual publication date or when you can buy it. So I'm gonna draw back the curtain a little bit and kind of take you into what happens in that time frame. The first step is development editing. This is the stage that varies most widely. It can be anywhere from three to four months to six months or longer, depending on what the story needs. In this stage, the author is working directly with the editor who acquired the book um, to edit for missed potential, not fixing spelling or gram uh, grammatical errors, um, but looking at the story's spine and pushing it to be the best it can be. Um, development editing, or DE, it usually consists of about two, three, or more rounds, depending on what it needs again, um, that get increasingly more narrow in focus as the rounds go on. So starting with the first round, that's largely gonna be really big picture ideas, focusing on conflict and character um, and obstacles, stakes, uh, moving down the line to scene level edits and then line level edits, um, working more in the manuscript, perhaps through uh, comments or track changes. Um, the theory is that once the manuscript is done with development editing, the big picture ideas are all over and you can really focus on cleaning up the manuscript and making sure that um, there's no grammatical um, or clarity errors um, in the next stages. So that brings us to step two, which is copy editing. In copy editing, the author works with a separate copy editor who is not the development editor, this is a whole new person, um, to edit the manuscript line by line for clarity, consistency, spelling and grammar. This is when um, a style sheet is gonna be created for the story to help keep track of characters and their names, um, their descriptions, um, this is going to help um, make sure there's a consistent timeline and time of day. Um, make sure that a kingdom is spelled the same in chapter 2 as it is in chapter 22. Um, and this process usually takes about one to two months depending on um, the needs of the book and how long it is. That's another thing that makes a big difference. So after copy editing, the manuscript moves into step three, which is design. And this is when the book is really gonna start taking on a more book-like form. Um, design accepts the manuscript for production and the design team starts laying it out um, into pages that look like a book. Um, they decide um, what fonts are gonna be used and what the um, little graphics are gonna be used and what the chapter headings are gonna look like. At this point, the manuscript is also going to be printed out and circulated in the publishing house for the editorial team to read and look around to catch obvious errors before the manuscript is sent to step four, which is author review. In author review, um, the physical pages of the designed manuscript are printed out and sent to the author for them to give it one final pass. And this is really the last opportunity for the author to make changes. Some publishing houses do one round of author review, some do two or three. This all depends on um, what house style is and what um, the needs of the schedule are. Um, but this is, yeah, the author marks up the physical pages and then sends them back to the publishing house where the editor reviews the marks and then sends them back to design so design can incorporate those changes. And from this point on, the manuscript is going to kind of be taking on a, a very repetitive process of goes to somebody for checks, comes back, review the checks, make the changes, and then keeps going until hopefully there's no more errors. But we all know that usually there's one typo somewhere in the book. Um, so then it goes to step five, like I said, which is proofreading, which again is the manuscript is printed out and sent to a proofreader and they read it to try to catch more stray errors. Then it's sent back to the publishing house and they make those changes. 
and then it's printed out again <laughs> and sent to more new eyes to try to catch more stray errors. At Page Street, we call this final checks. And it's really just a bunch of rounds of proofreading that just keep going on up until really the point that the manuscript has to go to the printer. Um, at the same time that step five, the proofreading is happening, um, step six is also starting to kick off. And this is publicity. And publicity really gets going around um, six months to go before publication. There may be um, a few things that happen, like cover reveals before this point, but the main um, thrust of a publicity campaign kicks off about six months prior to pub date. Um, and as proofreading and final checks may be going on, publicity is really getting in full swing. So steps four, five, and six kind of happen all a little bit at the same time. Um, in publicity, this is when ARCs are going to be distributed or advanced reader copies. They're going to go to indie booksellers and librarians along with trade media for reviews like Kirkus and Booklist and Publishers Weekly, um, along with traditional media like NPR and the New York Times Book Review. Um, this is when the publicity team will pitch authors for podcasts and TV interviews and uh, submitting books for awards and conferences. Um, promotional materials are going to be printed, like bookmarks and book plates and um, and postcards. Um, Instagram tours and blog tours and Goodreads giveaways are all going to be organized. And a lot of these things are going to happen going up to all the way up until the publication date and even weeks and weeks beyond that. Um, so that's really it. That's really it. Those are really the six main steps that go into um, a book, into the life of a book behind the scenes. I hope you learned a little bit about what goes on in the Mysterious Publishing House. Um, and with that, stay safe, stay home. And um, of course, I hope you read some fantastic books while we're here in quarantine. Take care. Thank you for watching. To learn more about writing workshops and see more videos, visit OCLS.info slash Writers Corner. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.